And our next guest counts Target, Visa, and Amazon as customers of their security software. Tanium has become one of the fastest growing enterprise software companies. So what is next? Orion Hindawi is the co-founder and CEO of Tanium and joins us now. Good morning, Orion. Morning. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. So you've indicated that you're prepared to go uh, public within the next year and a half, perhaps filing the first paperwork as soon as the spring. Um, you guys sold Big Fix, another security and device management company to IBM. So why is this time going to be different? So I think our customers were really disappointed the last time. I think acquisitions don't really work well for customers. They are really painful for employees a lot of the time. And I think we started this company always with the goal of taking it and becoming a really meaningful company long term. I don't think you can do that as effectively as part of an acquisition. And so we charted our course from the get go uh, to create a big public meaningful company. And I think we're on the road to do that. So uh, a year and a half is kind of a long time out, but we're seeing an environment right now very receptive to enterprise software companies. Uh, I believe you've got somewhere around 270 million in sales projected for this year. Growth is still strong. Does this environment today have any influence on your IPO plans overall? Really not. I mean, our long term goals have always been this and, you know, I, I've said it before you know, both publicly and privately. I'd like to be running this company 20 years from now. I don't think we can do that as a private company. I think long term we have to go public because it's the right thing to do for our uh, employees and our customers. Now, all of that said, I think a receptive market is obviously better than a, a frozen mm -hmm. market. So, right. you know, I'm happy to see that, but I, I don't think it really defines our strategy. Security seems to be in the news more than ever. Not, not only do we have the news of the Yahoo hack from quite a while ago, of course, we've got political hacking uh, of the DNC, um, of, of politicians' emails. Do you feel like uh, Tatium Software and others that you see coming out are going to be able to really address this, or is this just a sea change in the balance of, of power, this arms race between uh, people who are trying to hack personal information and those trying to protect it? So this might be a bit of a controversial statement, but I think our industry has really failed our market. So I think we've, as an industry, been distracting people and having them focus on advanced threat and nation states. And really, when you look at a lot of these attacks that are hitting our customers uh, or the prospects that become our customers, they're really prosaic run of the mill attacks that are exploiting known vulnerabilities that people aren't patching or they're not doing multi-factor uh, authentication or disk encryption. These are the basic things we've been talking about for 20 years. And the reason that people are succeeding in attacking are the same reasons that people have succeeded for the last 20 years, which are that hygiene is not being implemented in our customers as effectively as it should be. That's exactly what Tanium is designed to address. We think our customers are getting better at that, and we think that is going to have a meaningful positive impact on the likelihood that they're going to be breached. But I really would encourage our customers and really companies in general to go back to basics. This is not a different type of attacker. It's just the okay. same type of stuff we've been seeing for 20 years, just more of it. Too many unforced errors on the security side. Uh, thank you, Orion Hindawi from Tinium. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.